Okay. This is what you told the police. Contacted male who had possession of a wooden kayak. He said he had given female $400 to buy kayak. He took the wooden kayak because female would not release his two plastic kayaks, $300 paddle, life jackets. He lived at the residence paying rent until last night. Female would not answer the door. Male had returned the wooden kayak prior to our leaving. Then there was, male will return to residence to try to inquire about his property and take another with him, I assume. And they attempted to contact Jennifer. You threatened to shoot him with a Glock. You say you have a Glock, Jennifer? I do have a Glock. Okay. Unknown if the threat is credible. That's what he says I said. So they spoke to you, and the vehicle is still, because there was a vehicle parked, his vehicle, parked behind a big tree, and stole a $2,000 kayak. No, it was four. Well, that says two. Right. That's what the police report says. That's inaccurate, that you... and I have proof of that. I'm just telling you what it says. You have a paid bill and something to show me from a bank where you paid $4,000 for the kayak? I brought it from a Mr. Bob and Hayden that he made the kayak. No, listen to me. You have a check made out to him? No, it was paid with cash. Listen to me. I don't believe you! Just show me where you took the $4,000 out of the bank right before you gave him the I don't have a bank statement for 2011. Listen to me. Don't believe you. It's a $4,000 kayak. That's what they go for. Don't believe me. I had to get it somewhere. <laughs> Aren't you following what I'm saying to you? That you don't believe me, but I, I have a written letter from Mr. Bob was telling you that I paid $4,000 for it, and I have pictures of similar kayaks that are all wooden handmade kayaks for $4,000. All I'm asking for you is if you have a bill of sale from the person who made it. I have a letter saying that I paid for it. It's not happening, madam. It's not happening. You don't keep $4,000 in your house. So if you know you're coming to court and you paid cash, don't, don't show me a letter. I'm not going to read a letter. It's hearsay. If you say I paid $4,000 in cash, Mm -hmm. for a kayak, then you bring me a bank statement, because I didn't write a check. You own your own home? No. You rent it? Yes, I do. You pay a landlord? Yes, I do. You make out a check every month for I your rent? I until they required it. D I paid Just cash. a second. You do now, because if I call them, they would say, you pay them by check. For six months out of seven years. Got an answer for everything. Listen, do you have your stuff back from her? No. What stuff does she have? Uh, my clothes, uh, my favorite kayak, my paddle. That may be sold on Craigslist. I don't know. It was she sold it. And show me that she has her kayak back. I can't. You took it? No, I didn't. I returned oh, it. No, no. She says she doesn't have it. And if you returned it, you didn't return it to the same place where you stole it from, which is from her front porch. Right. Right. Your case is dismissed because you had a countersuit. Your case is dismissed because you have no proof. I think you both have each other's property. We're done. Thank you. I have proof, Your Honor. We're done. Why does that excuse me step out? He never came back. It was the day of the wedding that he disappeared. The relation, it was controlling. And uh... T-Mobile offers family tracking on their phone. I turned it on in the middle of the night. His phones were turned off at 5.30 and dinged and told me he was at his ex-girlfriend's house. Uh, I wasn't at my ex-girlfriend's, actually, but... Um... Oh. <laughs> I can't even tell you what goes through <laughs> at that time. I never wanted to see him again, for sure. I just didn't want the confrontation. I thought it was positive. I thought he would, I never dreamt that he would not come home that day. <laughs> well, we got a confrontation.